Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Rocket here. Welcome to the Wolf Den. So, what I have here in this folder are the driver files for Windows and our media creation tool. I'll leave links below for those. We are going to install Windows 10 on the Steam Deck today. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so first things first, you are going to need two USB flash drives. First thing we're going to do is take the four driver files that you downloaded from the links below. And you're going to extract those four to one of your devices your USB sticks so for me let me see where is it at here it is right here this is what it looks like all extracted on the first USB drive now we are going to set up the bootable windows so how that's gonna go is we're gonna take double click this media creation tool select yes and then it's gonna get everything ready for us it might take a minute or so alright guys so it's just gonna give us our terms of service real quick just accept that get a few more things alright guys now it's asking us what we want to do we don't want to upgrade this PC we want to create a new installation media English Windows 10 64 bit and we want to create a USB flash drive so at this point this is where I'd format my flash drive I already did mine to fat 32 and then proceed and this is the flash drive right here that was formatted click next and now we are downloading Windows 10. We'll be right back. It should only take five or so minutes. All right, guys. It is 100% complete, and our flash drive is ready. Now it is time to take both bootable devices out of your computer. And let's jump over to the Steam Deck. All right, guys. So once we have our bootable form of Windows and our secondary USB device of your choice. For me, it's just gonna be an SD card because it will go in the SD slot. This is what I have my drivers on. This will be our secondary USB. And then this is optional here. For me, it's easier with the mouse. This is my second time putting Windows on it because it was installed on the 64 as a RE emmc memory and now i'm reinstalling it on that 256 we threw in there on the last video so this mouse is just completely optional this the way it's going to start when we start windows up is it's actually going to start sideways like this and then you can use your mouse trackpad here to go through the settings if you'd like or use a mouse this is a must we have to have this to get this process done. You can go get these at Target, Walmart, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you have something that will is USB-C and it has a USB out or in. I apologize. All right, so without further ado, let's get straight to it. So I am going to hook this USB-C up on the top. Sit that down. Now I am going to take my bootable form of Windows, slide that into my USB, and then take that micro or whatever your secondary USB, you can put it right here if you have that, or an SD card, slide that in there like that. Alright guys, we're at the boot menu now, we're going to select our USB Windows 10 device. And then from here, it is going to boot up our Windows for us. 
Now in order to enter the boot menu, all you have to do is hold down the volume down button and tap the power button one time. So now we just wait for Windows to read off of our flash drive here. It's lighting up. Okay. Here we go. Turn it sideways. And as I was saying before, you can see where our mouse pad will come in handy. English, English, US keyboard next. If you do not have a mouse, do not worry because there is a virtual keyboard installed instantly that will pop up on your screen for you like any other device. All right, we're going to install Windows. We do not have an activation code. We are going to select Windows 10 Pro. Next. Terms of service. Next. Custom install. You're going to select your partition. Here is that new 256 I just bought. And installed in the previous video. Good to know that's coming through. Okay, so we are going to format that since it is new. Okay. Alright guys, now that we have selected our settings and we have selected our partition, it is installing our windows for us now. Oh, focus for me. This should only take five minutes or so. We're already at 31%. I'll get back to it when it's done. All right, guys. It is all finished installing this version of Windows for us. We're going to click yes for United States. U.S. Or wherever you are. We definitely don't want to add a second keyboard layout. Just one's fine. Don't even bother with this yet. Just, I don't have internet. Because you don't. We have to install the drivers. Continue with limited setup. Who is going to use this PC? I will demonstrate that onboard keyboard for you. Oh, hold up. All right, now we are continuing our setup. Do things how you like. No, thank you. Not a fan of Cortana. All right, guys. We are continuing to load. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to fix our orientation. So you're going to right-click on your mouse. We're going to go to Display Settings. It's going to ask us how we want our layout, and we are going to set it to landscape. Alright. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? We're going to keep these changes. Alright, now here's the fun part. This is where we're going to install our drivers. Just open your file explorer. Find your device. And then you're going to go through each one of these and run the setup. This looks like this is the one for the like game drivers, I believe. AMD. Yep. Alright. Let's 
so all right I'll be back when the driver's done it says two minutes all right guys I am back the driver has successfully installed if I didn't clarify before we'll say it I'll say it again this all of these drivers are installed on your second SD card or your second USB drive. The reason it has to be two individual SD cards or USB drives is because whenever we format our Windows boot drive, it is a partition drive. You cannot add anything to it. Just installing our next driver here. Not going to restart it yet. Let's just make sure we get them all installed and then we'll give it a fresh restart. Yes. This is the Bluetooth. Like I said before, I'm not sure if you remember or not. The only way to get audio currently is through a headphone set through the USB C or Bluetooth. I mean, most of us have Bluetooth now, almost everything does. Right. It's another driver installed. Now let's just do this last one here. All right. Now that's all finished. It is safe to remove your USB drives if you'd like. I'm just going to completely unhook this. My device is charging and three-fourths of the way charged. Alright guys. So, now that our Windows installed and our drivers are installed, I think it is safe and I'm not sure if I've said this before yet. Right trigger is how you do your selecting for now. Whenever you're just using it in handheld. You can, I'm sure you can set it up however you'd like. But we are going to do a restart. Alright guys, and that about does it. Got Windows on the device, all your drivers are installed. You can now go on and install Steam, Epic, pretty much anything that you were restricted with with your Steam OS for now. You can go ahead and play on your Windows device. And I will definitely be doing some videos on different games and how they run on here. Like I said, this is my second time with Windows, but the first thing I installed when I put it on here the first time was Halo Infinite. So, I will definitely be doing that again and doing some gameplay videos of stuff coming up. I also have a, another Game Boy Shell video coming up. So, if you're interested in that or you like the video, leave a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thanks so much and have a great day.